Today we're going to look at our Odroid media computer, specifically to add to more internal storage to it. If we have a look inside the media computer, we will see there's not a great deal of room within the case itself. Now while we could add external storage, I'd much prefer for the storage to be inside the case. Now the option of adding one of these inside the case is not going to happen. It's just too big. So that rules out the 3.5 inch drive. A 2.5 inch drive is much smaller and could in theory fit within the case. However, it is still quite big and fitting it inside the case may well be a challenge. So what I'd like to do is to fit something even smaller. Now one option would be to use one of these. A small card reader. And in this we could quite happily fit 128 gigs of card or a micro SD card. Now while this would fit outside it could be fitted inside the case if we loop a USB cable from the back back inside the case and mount this somewhere inside. However while this would give us additional storage the storage wouldn't be terribly fast. So we're going to take an alternative approach. Now our case and our Odroid at the moment has 128GB of SSD in the M2 format fitted on the underside of the motherboard. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fit one of these, a small MSATA SSD, 512GB, which is a very small form factor which should fit somewhere inside the case quite easily. However, where to plug it into? We have two SATA slots on the motherboard and this is an M SATA. So we need to find a way of getting this plugged into the motherboard. So what we're going to fit inside the case is one of these small converter boards which will turn our M SATA into a SATA connector. So our board will just slot in quite nicely into here and we can screw this down using these two small retaining screws. However, how are we going to actually mount this inside the case? So to mount this inside the case, we'll need to provide a little bit of infrastructure. Now I've prepared a small bit of maker beam, which has a threaded hole on the end, and we're going to thread this in to one of the existing bolts like so. And we will bolt a horizontal section maker beam onto the top of this. And this now gives us a horizontal surface onto which we can attach our converter board. Now, unfortunately, there are no available mounting holes where we can actually bolt it to this. So what we're going to use is a small piece of thermal tape, which is adhesive on both sides. We'll attach this to the base of the board, which will allow us to stick it to the top. So what we will do first is we will secure our M SATA board to its converter board with these two small retaining screws. That's that quite securely fixed onto the converter board. From the Odroid website we can purchase these two SATA cables. One for data and one for power. Now our little converter board accepts the miniature versions of these. So the power cable will not actually connect. However, we do have another small converter board which we can plug into our first converter board to allow us to use these cables. Like so. So let's connect the two cables just to check to see how we're going to route them. So 
So here, I think, is where we're going to mount the unit. I'm just checking that our cables will actually connect down to here without any undue strain. Now, we also want to make sure this doesn't interfere with the lid of the unit. And I think we're going to get away with that quite nicely. So, first thing to do then, we will attach our pad to the back of our board. Now this is a non-conductive pad. Obviously you don't want anything that would conduct electricity touching the rest of the case. So that's our pad. We will peel this off to stick it down once we have our cables in place. So let's put the data cable in first. That's our data cable. And let's go for the power cable next. Alright, that's both cables seated in quite nicely. And now we can avoid getting too close to the heatsink. I think we can go ahead and actually mount this now. We may indeed need a cable tie to hold this in place. So we'll put a cable tie in place just to hold this down until the adhesive sets. That's not a perfect mounting solution, but it will do for the moment. And our lid will fit quite nicely in the top, giving us an upgraded computer. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.